The number one most frequent comment on our channel is about how we use the edge of our knife on the ferro rod. But a close second is, what gear do you guys use? Links to everything in the video are listed in the description. These are not necessarily recommendations, this is just what we're currently using. And without further ado, here's the gear. For my backpack, I recently changed to a Gregory Baltoro 85 liter. I prefer the extra space to make sure I have room for everything I want to bring. My shelter of choice is usually the Kelty Grand Mesa tent, especially for expecting cold or harsh weather. However, in warmer weather, I have been using this bottom entry Hennessy hammock with a separate tarp for a rain fly. The down under quilt was something I picked up separately whenever the weather got a bit chillier. My sleeping bag provides a warm night while still being fairly compact and not too heavy. I bring my water in a two liter bladder while hiking and a one liter Nalgene for cooking and I always bring a manual pump water filter. A good headlamp is always necessary if you tend to find yourself hiking at night, like we do. This tripod chair is a newer addition. Since we tend to stop a lot to set up shots, it lets me rest my feet when I'm tired. I also bring a pair of hiking poles with me. They make a world of difference when hiking in areas with a lot of elevation change. I bring an air mat with my tent, which serves to not only insulate my body from the ground, but makes my nights much more comfortable. For cooking, I have this medium-sized billy can which I use with this wood-burning solo stove. To keep my pack dry in wet weather, I have this 80-liter rain cover. I keep all of my food stuff in this 8-liter waterproof sack. I always bring a knife, just in case, but Andrew usually has this covered. I also bring the iconic orange trowel for when nature calls. And last but not least, a rain jacket, which I finally got after getting rained on too many times. So my backpack is 90 liters, which is far too big and far too heavy at six pounds, but it gets the job done. I use a rain cover for my old backpack, which I might not use much longer because I burned some holes in it on our last trip. Next is an REI compression sack that holds my also too heavy sleeping bag, but it is rated for five degrees Fahrenheit and it's kept me warm since I got it in 2009. To complement that, I have a sleeping mat because I sleep on the ground. I also have a compressible pillow, which I prefer to just using extra clothes or my boots. I always bring a warm base layer and an extra pair of socks, and my rain jacket has been a lifesaver and is absolutely worth the money. This headlamp uses three AAA batteries, but has been rock solid since I got it in 2007. I've got a 10 liter dry sack to hold food, and a three liter water bladder. I got the larger size because it seemed like we were always running out of water. When I'm not traveling with Brian or Andrew, I bring a two person tent, a water filter, and a knife. Because Brian usually carries a filter, and I normally sleep under Andrew's tarp. First, I've got an 85 liter backpack, which was actually in the Walk in the Woods movie, but is no longer available. I also have a simple REI rain cover and a rain jacket to keep me dry. I usually sleep under this tarp, which is fairly lightweight and has proved quite useful over the years. I've got a dry sack to carry food, and I usually bring this compact cooking pan, but sometimes I bring a billy can or this big cooking pot instead for things like soups and stews. I also carry this two liter water bladder for water. <laughs> Next, I carry my trusty unisock. Inside of that, I usually carry extra clothes, a warm base layer at the very least. Next is my sleeping bag, which is rated to 20 degrees. It's kept me warm in all but the harshest conditions. It's also got some holes in it from the fire. I usually bring one of two knives, and sometimes I also bring a folding saw. Of course, I've got my headlamp for the nighttime, and a simple compass for navigating. I also bring paracord for when we need to hang our food at night. I usually bring a lighter as a backup fire starter. And I also have a first aid kit with various things in it. And for emergencies, I have the satellite GPS device. It can notify friends that you're okay or send out an SOS signal, but you need to pay for a subscription service. And of course, I archive all my adventures in this homemade journal. For camera equipment, we have a tripod. And on top of that, we put the Panasonic GH4 with the very versatile 12 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. And for audio, we use the Rode VideoMic Pro with a dead cat windscreen. We also have a small handheld stabilizer, which we put the Sony a7S II on with the 16 to 35 millimeter f4 lens. And again, for audio, we use the Rode VideoMic Pro with a dead cat windscreen. In addition to that, we have the 55 millimeter f1.8 lens for the Sony camera to get nice and cinematic shots. And we have a 100 to 300 millimeter lens for the Panasonic camera to get shots of wildlife. And we also have a mini tripod when we want to get shots of fungi and other things close to the ground. We have a blue pouch for fresh batteries and a red pouch to keep dead batteries. We also have this wireless microphone transmitter and receiver to get better audio when the camera is far away from us. And finally, we have this waterproof case to put all of our SD cards into. 
<laughs> Thanks for watching. We recorded a podcast episode with more details and thoughts on our gear, so give it a listen here. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you really like the video, subscribe and check out our Patreon page. Also be sure to check out our full episodes where you can see our gear in use while we backpack in places like Japan, Yosemite, and Yellowstone. Thanks again, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below.